If you have a low storage or low spec PC, or accidentally bought an outdated MacBook Air, or you just find it over products quite expensive, well, here's some good news for you. Because now you can edit long form videos online with no installation, optimized even for high quality ones because it's entirely cloud based. Vid.io is such a blessing in disguise for me because even though it's not 100% close to Adobe Premiere Pro, it also got many other features that you wouldn't be able to find in Adobe or CapCut or Canva. And this is exactly what we're going to talk about today. Hello there and welcome to Cup and Ads. If you're new to this channel, my name is Summer. I'm a digital marketer who share valuable tips, tutorials, and reviews on software or artificial intelligence tools. If you're interested to know the top tools that I highly recommend, you can go ahead and grab my free content creation toolkit as linked in the description box. So now we're off to edit on this platform called Veed. You can sign up for free just to give it a try, but do know that whatever you export will have a watermark in it unless you upgrade to their basic plan, which is only $18 per month. So in this demo, I'll be using a MacBook Air, which unfortunately isn't compatible with any Adobe products because as I said, it's outdated. Veed also has ready-made templates as you can see here. But we're not going to use a template for our YouTube video because it's a long form one. So we're going to go ahead to create a new one from scratch. But before that, let me just highlight the fact that you can also record your screen and do a live video using this tool, which is a huge add on value. But again, let me just focus on video editing. And what I'm going to do is to upload one video clip onto the timeline. And this is the same video that you are watching now. So if you want to see the result, you might as well watch this till the end. The good thing about vid.io is that it's so simple and easy to use. You have the timeline over here, your workspace, and all the custom tools on the left side. And here, you can even change the size format of the video, add the background, clean the audio, and on the media part is where you can add another video, which in this case, let me drag a second video clip to also show you how the transitions look like when we get there. Okay, so once you go to audio, you have options to upload your own, or record a voiceover and even convert your text into automated voiceover. Also, you can add your background music over here. Now, the subtitles are the best part for me because if you've watched interactive videos that comes with dynamic subtitles, well, it's so easy to do that in vid.io. Let's say we're gonna click auto subtitles. You just wait for it to finish generating and then you can go to styles. And here you can choose whether you want to give emphasis on a specific work being spoken or you prefer a static subtitle. But as of now, I'm really fond of the box highlight. Let me just show you a quick review. And then next is the text. Pretty much with basic animations that you can put in your intro or as lower thirds. And going to elements, if you want to add emojis, GIFs, GIFs. And again, they also made recording button available here in case you want to insert something in between or you can record yourself or your screen. Now for the transitions, these are the most common and basic ones that you find for simple videos. So I'd say you cannot really create a super catchy or heavy effects with it like Premiere Pro or After Effects or even CapCut, but they are decent transitions for minimal editing. Apparently, vid.io doesn't have much transitions yet, but I do hope they will add more. And then you could also choose color grading, filter effect. Not really a huge fan, but it can come in pretty handy to set the mood. And finally, I love that we can draw over here. It will be much useful with a pen if you are using a touchscreen computer, iPad, or any tablet, especially if you want to add a personal touch, your signature, or handwriting onto your video. I was able to find vid.io to really solve my problem of having a low spec computer. And yet I still need to edit videos, whether short form or long form content. And so far I didn't have much problem with it, except for the fact that high end effects that I can produce by using 
After Effects or even CapCut is obviously something you kind of find in vid.io. But hey, this is a great start. I think I just mentioned a few weeks ago that we're not too far from having a powerful tool like Premiere Pro online. And I was talking about Canva back then. But the problem with Canva is the video editor could buffer a bit when you upload heavy ones. Unlike with vid.io, which is mostly specialized in videos, gives you a faster response time. I also love that they have ready-to-use templates designed also for videos like IG stories, reels, TikTok, YouTube, podcast, and aside from editing, again, you could also record yourself or your screen and even host your own live. Enough said, I love Veed. So you guys can also check it out for yourself. Again, if you are an aspiring or an existing content creator and you're interested to expand your skills in video content creation, grab a copy of my content creator toolkit while it's free. And that's all I have for you today. If you think this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you won't miss out on updates.